Hello, this is a video where I show how to copy an array, but doing it with Python Tutor, which is actually a way to visualize code in Python, JavaScript, C, C++, and Java. So I'm going to actually demonstrate some C code. And if you watch my other video, you'll see that I actually, uh, what did I do? <laughs> I wrote something which copies an array in C. So I've got an array called array one, and I've got an empty array called array two. And I just want to demonstrate this. Thanks to um, Barry Brown, Professor Barry Brown, on um, his YouTube channel. He showed uh, this in a recent video, and I just thought it would be useful just to share it with um, my viewers. And what we do is paste the code in. So I've already written the code from the previous video. And this is the good bit. Visualize the execution. And please wait. Your code is running up to 10 seconds. And uh, just bear with, because very shortly we are going to have this, which is I think is is fantastic for understanding, especially arrays. So uh, we come down here. You see the next button down here, and if I click next, it's just entered the main. So if I click next, uh, we've already got an empty variable called i. Now it's gone to array one and it's filled up array one with all of those um, values. Array two is empty, so we've got the question marks over here. Uh, next, and you see we're entering the for loop. So now start with i equals zero, and click one more time, one more. So print the output is one up here, do you see that? And we're seeing the stack and also the heap. Um, let me go again. Now it's copied. So each time it hits the green arrow on row 11, it's copying the value from array one down into array two. So we're, we're visually seeing it progress. Um, and this is, you could see this in a debugger, but I just think this is a, a cleaner, more easy to understand way to um, run it, especially on a really small program with no um, external libraries or anything. Uh, so here we go, we're copying within the for loop. And we, at the moment you see we're just going between line 11 and line 12, line 13, back up to line 11. So it's a very, very visual way of understanding it. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to using this more on, on yeah future tutor tutorials and uh, as I'm trying to learn more C and make a bit more progress. So yeah, I just wanted to share this with you. Hopefully it's interesting. If it's not, so I won't mention it again, but um, I think anybody who's learning C, this is invaluable. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.